All right, we're officially back to the regular scheduled program. Looking, getting the cold water again. 32 degrees, a little bit of ice. This is gonna be like my first ice bath ever again. Just because of how not cold the uh, ones in Florida were. Back to the crazy breathing. Wow, that was probably the most mentally relaxed I've ever made myself. That was a super accomplishment for me there. Still sucks, but that was fucking sick. See, back to the instantly numb feeling. Couldn't get that in Florida. It was just cold. I'm gonna fill this up with some more water today. Not feeling too hot in the immune department. Probably a little bit of jet lag, but feeling very sinusy. Probably hear it in my voice. It's kind of annoying, but we're gonna get through it. Do a little back, a little back and buys today. Some abs. <sighs> Gotta implement more cardio because my output was terrible this week. Not as good as I'd like to be. Kinda wanna buy a treadmill. It's kinda too cold to get that that good little sweat feeling from, from walking outside so I mean I have elliptical on a spin bike but this spin bike hurts my ass and nobody likes an elliptical maybe an arc trainer an arc trainer would be dope but I also have a battle rope I want to do some hit training but I don't know if my wrist will let me see me giving you all these excuses pathetic Oh, it feels good to be back. And by good, it means it feels good to be numb. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the garage, back home finally, got to get our cold plunge game back on at a more colder level. Today we're gonna do back and buys. I'm feeling a little, little sick, a little weak, but gonna get through it anyway. We're gonna start with, I don't even know where half of my attachments are. I don't even know if I have an easy curl attachment, honestly. We're gonna start with underhand lap pull downs. Then we're gonna do dumbbell rows. And some pull ups. Then we're gonna do some biceps. The 
depending on how my wrist feels, we'll do some some preacher curls, which I'll have to use the leg extension to do so, which will be fun, just to show you another creative way to do things. Uh, then I'm gonna do some seated bicep curls, and then I'll probably finish with some hammer curls. Warming up our shoulders, rear delts, as we would every time we train anything upper body. Especially for back, I'll keep my elbows low when I do this to start, just to get my lower lats really going, and then I'll come up higher with my elbows, just get more of the upper back traps and rear delts going. Cause I got a lot of work to do today. And so do we. Probably do that about three more times and then we'll get to working out. We'll get a nice little warm up here, reverse grip, lat pull downs. I usually would use like an easy bar curl, but I don't have one. Thought I did, it's been a while. I also hate wrapping reverse. It's very like this. Super light stretch, squeeze. I'm really depending on my, my elbow drive to get this contraction because if I start squeezing hard and pulling hard, my biceps are gonna burn out and I can't have that happen or else back day is gonna be uh, a lot lighter than I intended it to be. Feels good. bothered my wrist so much. I don't know if it's just the, the bent angle inside. I know it is, but it's just so narrow to stay straight. But I might have to the next two sets because that ain't the play. <clears throat> Still hurts, but one more set. All right, we're gonna go don't single arm dumbbell row. I don't know why I have two dumbbells. I only need one, but we got the hundreds. It's the heaviest I got.
probably go three sets of seven. I like to go heavy with my back. I want as much blood back there as I can get. And it's a, a super easy pump for me with a lot of movement. So I try to go as heavy as I can with back. Hopefully this doesn't hurt my wrist. But we're gonna find out. So good. My handles are kind of rusty from just sitting in here getting hot, cold, hot, cold, all the moisture. I'm gonna have to redip them. I'm worried about cutting my hand on them, but luckily the the wraps covering up most of the grip, but it's pretty bad. Next exercise was gonna be pull-ups, which I have to do assisted, which is a lot for me, because I'm not strong enough to pull my fat ass up. And I don't know if my wrist will handle it, especially just from kind of bothering it, doing the reverse grips. Wouldn't have hurt if I had a easy bar attachment, but I do, and my dumb ass forgot where I put it, which is where it belongs, right here. But even better, our next exercise is gonna be straight arm pull downs, which I feel like a lot of people struggle with this movement because everybody just kinda of is so used to the tricep exercise that's kinda of similar to this. This is really good for the serratus. I really love this exercise. I like to go here with it so I can almost feel like I'm pushing past my body. So I keep a big chest and I feel like I'm resisting. I don't, think, I don't feel like anything's moving. I'm locked. And then when I get here, I kind of shift my elbows in and come to my hip and squeeze. I like a lot of time under tension just to really feel the lats control from top to bottom. Got a little bit more weight on here.
Last set for back. Little FST7. We'll save that for next week. We'll add those uh, different styles of training just to really continue to break down the fibers. I know you can't see my face, but I'm talking. So, this is how I do my preacher curls. When it comes to biceps, I'm always just chasing the pump. I'm never ever going super heavy, stupid heavy. I literally want high volume, putting as much blood in there as I can. Nice time under tension. Doesn't take much for me. Get it how you can though. We grind it. Sorry, I had to take the hoodie off. Sometimes it's nice to watch the muscle work, but I still got about 15, 20 pounds before I can see what I want to see in my arms. But luckily we're gonna switch up our BCAs this week. We're actually gonna do a, a more of a, a fat burning formula. It's got 50 milligrams of cayenne fruit extract, which is a little bit of spice for a little bit of thermogenesis so our body's burning even when we're not doing anything internally. And then it also has L-carnitine tartrate, which is super good to aid in fat loss. So we're just doing everything we need to do supplement-wise and making sure we do everything to maximize those results. So, you know, we're only going to increase our output as well. Like I said, big week of a little bit more cardio pushing these exercises. Hopefully I can get somebody in here to film me because taking these breaks to move the camera and get an angle right, make sure I'm recording is really taken away from the intensity I like. I'm not trying to keep bitching about it, but I'm just being honest. I don't want to complain a lot because complaining is a toxic trait and I don't want it to be contagious. I don't want people, people to feel like what I'm doing is a burden or negative. I love it actually. And uh, it seems like a lot of you do. Some of you don't actually, because it's funny. I noticed <laughs> yesterday, which was day 12 of me trying to change my life. I had 200 people unfollow me on Instagram because of the cold plunges. So it is what it is. You know, another thing too is like, you know, I have a personal Instagram 
And I also have the Kroom Photos Instagram, which, you know, started off as like, you know, Bill's content and, you know, photo stuff. And like, you know, after the years, you know, that's just who I am as a person now. You know, that is just like my number one passion and it's who I am. It's not like, like that's just a, an alter ego or a different person. Like I've grown into that. And, you know, it, it became more of a personal Instagram for me because, you know, I have a personality and that's who that personality is. I'm not just a guy who just takes pictures and I feel like a lot of people want me to just be that guy who takes pictures, which is fine, I get it. You know, but all those who stuck around through everything that I've done, changed as a man and grew up and, and shit like that, that's super fucking dope and I appreciate every single person that's, that's stuck around and been loyal on everything that I have going, especially supportive, you know, and it's, I've had a bunch of people I've noticed who followed me for a while who I've never spoke to, you know, reach out to me about this stuff. And some people tell me I'm motivating and ask me a lot of questions about the cold plunge and stuff like that. And it's super dope. I mean, I'm just a normal human being, just like everybody else. And for me to bring my dumb ass outside in underwear and get in some cold ass water and have people inspired is pretty inspiring to me. So, <laughs> uh, what a life, huh? Seated bicep curls. Same thing here as we've been doing, just really trying to pump up these biceps. I only got 15 pound dumbbells and we're gonna take our sweet ass time with these and just get our pump. Time under tension. Stretch and squeeze. I'm trying to lock my elbows into my rib cage, but keeping them in front of my shoulder. Burns quick. <laughs> Here I am back again thinking I can see something. Hoping rather. <clears throat> crazy how, how fatigued and quick it happens. I don't know if it's a blessing or a disguise, or both. Yeah, I'm not about to be a hero. Just give me a little bit, they'll pop out. More excited to see veins than anything. Usually that comes at a at a number for me. But we'll see. Last set and then we have hammer curls. And we have our 25s in front of the heater right now. Getting ready to, to go. Still got a lot of work to do. Come on, bro. They just get so pumped up, I don't know. I'm not complaining, but I am. I'd love to, you know, go heavier and do all this other stupid throwing shit around, but it's not logical for these bad boys. They don't need much. All right, last set hammer curls. We're gonna be a little more loose with our form here. You know, our biceps are pretty pumped, so now we're gonna kinda 
work to keep chasing it. Just kind of hitting these from all angles as well. Now we gotta really get them. A lot of momentum here. Don't take much, man. It's kind of annoying. Even though the last set before this was just 20 seconds ago, I just want to get as much of a pump as I can here. Come on, bitch. And that's a wrap on back and by. So we're gonna do abs. I'm just gonna throw them in tomorrow's workout. I want tomorrow to be more aggressive. So I'm gonna start with my abs tomorrow and Grind it out. I think we got legs tomorrow, so can't wait for that. But uh, one thing I didn't mention really in any, well, I guess I might have into, into the second part of the introduction video that's not posted yet. Yet as in I'm on day 12 and I still need to post day two. I think I did it on like day four, but every day I, I have a checklist of like, everything mental, physically, and everything as soon as I wake up, and as well as notes. I have a notebook with it. So I'll include those in all the videos, but this will probably be the only video where I'll be able to explain it. So I guess everything will make more sense in those videos. I'll probably put it in like the little corner of my cold plunges, because that's how every video is probably gonna start because that's the first thing I do when I wake up. So pretty much I did, well I had to, I did everything in a notebook, but I had to do everything on my phone while I was away in Florida. So sleep sucked in Florida, you know, just sleeping in a different bed sucks. You know, not having a body pillow and central air is probably what made me sick. So, you know, a lot of, a lot of things went a different direction as far as feeling positive. Motivation stayed pretty high. Um, anxiety went down a lot because I didn't have to worry about the extremely cold, cold plunge because the one that I had in Florida wasn't the coldest and it was super simple. So my anxiety wasn't bad. Today I had anxiety, but my breathing was the best it's ever been. You probably, you'll hear it in the video, even though you already watched it in this video. But. So I do anxiety, mental, physical, mood, motivation, body, joints, and sleep. So anxiety today was a seven, which was a little higher than the day before, which was a four, just because of the cold plunge. I don't know why it, it kind of gets me riled up because of my breathing. And then mental, I'm about a seven, just dealing with, with life and but mental as in like, that's like a positive. You know, lower would obviously be a worse number but seven, seven's good. You know, just kind of, I have it in my notes, just the things that I guess mentally, it's not that mentally bothering me, but I'd like to be mental, mentally clear on everything that I'm doing. And when I'm not, that's where things get a little bumpy for me. Um, physically, my body, probably about an eight, little sore from doing my sprints and my workout in Florida. Um, my mood, about a seven, which is good. 
Motivation is an eight, which has been a 10 pretty much every day. I'd say the only reason it's been an eight is just I'm starting to feel like shit again. It's kind of pissing me off because I'm actually doing everything I can to not be sick with supplements. So that kind of just kind of sucks balls, but I'm still grinding, doing everything I'm supposed to do. Supposed to. Um, my body feel like an eight as far as like not feeling lazy. Um, my joints are about a seven, which is really good compared to from where we started. Shout out to the cold plunge and sleep was a six just because it's like a first day back to routine, kind of oversleep, you know, when you're snoring, waking up, feeling like shit. But um, I also have notes for my trip overall. Time management, which was, I, I could have made it better, but I didn't because it's, I wasn't on my time. I wasn't going to be selfish on vacation knowing I had to do Disney and you know, things last minute, going here, going to do this, that, and the other thing, it was just kind of spontaneous in Florida. You never really know the game plan. So that's on me. I didn't do anything I shouldn't have done. It's just, you know, there was times where I had to, to, to hurry up and quick and act on and make a decision so I could get my food in and things like that. If I would have just prepared for it, it probably would have saved me a lot of stress. Uh, gout, if you don't know what gout is, it's your body not being able to, to break down uric acid, which I've struggled with since doing my bodybuilding show, which is why I tell people all the time I regret doing my bodybuilding show. Um, so what gout is, well, I'm not gonna, I'll explain it what gout is another time, but the way gout affects me is it goes to my feet. So it, it like, it's hard to explain it. Like, it, so like your blood will crystallize into a spot that'll just swell up and it'll feel like there's like needles and glass inside your foot. Like your foot is literally broken. If you touch it, depending on how severe your, your inf inflammation is, you're, you'll scream through the roof. And I think I'm learning that, that red meat is the reason that that happens to me. Um, so the only thing, I mean, you can get gout medication, which I don't have, I haven't had. So I have to take an obnoxious amount of inflammatories, which is ibuprofen, which is super bad for you. And I had to take so much of them just so I could be able to walk. Like, and I'm talking, I, I'll put a picture of it. I'm not gonna take pictures of my feet for you guys. But I have, I, like my pinky, will, my pinky toe will swell up to like three times the size, as well as the whole side of my foot and under my foot. So if I take a small step, it's, it's unbearable. Let alone I'll get it in like five spots on my left foot and then three spots on my right foot. So I'm walking around like this, if I can even walk, and it's just excruciating pain. So like that hindered so much, if I can get that under control, which is obviously, honestly, a, num a part of what I'm trying to do. If I can get my body in order, that will hopefully go away. Um, I wasn't able to really work out much I, because like I said before, I wanted to golf and I hate golfing when I'm sore because then I can't play to my ability and I take golf very seriously, which I know is a pathetic excuse, but that's, that's the only excuse I'll give you. Um, nutrition was on point. I want to add more cardio on next week and really start burning, which is this week, which I already said, we're increasing and we're grinding. So that's it for day 12, I think we are. I need to start memorizing these, memorizing these and getting these videos out because, so it's day 12 and the only video I posted is day one. I'm going to group the whole Florida trip in one video. And then all my off days, I'm not filming anything besides my cold plunge every morning. So. I think I had two or three off days in that span of time, not included Florida. I'll just put them all in one video and just label them day, which day they were, and get you caught up. But I'm going to start trying to crank out these videos. You know, I'm not going to do much in the kitchen unless I'm changing the food, which I am. I'm not changing the food I'm eating. I'm just taking my portion size and spreading them out between more meals to really let my metabolism work. So that's the only change, you know. You might, I might do some more kitchen videos. Maybe we'll switch up the nutrition a little bit, maybe next week. But I probably won't post a video unless I'm working out or doing some type of cardio. So there'll probably be a video that'll be like day eight when you didn't see day six, because day six was just an off day. So the, the cold plunge will be into that video that goes with the next training video. Even though all this information is probably already out there because this is 11 days after the first video. So I'm just talking for nothing, but that's it. Let's go.